another video on this channel. And, um, yeah, we have the lizard that we do the intro on just sitting there in the sun on his rock like he always is. Okay, anyway, today is a anole lizard care sheet. So, we're going to be going through the complete care of an anole lizard. And everything, feeding, water, tank setup, um, humidity, temperature. Um, yeah, so complete care for anoles. So, let's get into the video right okay, now. Okay, so, hey guys. So, this is my anole here. You can see him sitting on that leaf being an anole. Um, yeah, so this is the anole lizard, and he, he we're going to be using his tank as a demonstration for the care. There are many types so. of anole. Um, there's brown anoles, green anoles, and Bahama anoles. This is a Bahama anole, but the care is all the same, so if you have a green or a brown, uh, perfectly the same, so yeah. First, tank size. So, anoles, they do should not have normal tanks like this where the tank is flat um, they should have tall tanks very tall you can see if I zoom out it's a tall tank instead of a short long tank so yeah so they need big tanks and um, as long as the tank is like pretty big you know um, 20 gallon probably two anoles 10 gallon one and all lizard um yeah so that is the tanks and for the so anoles are arboreal which means they are always in the trees which means you're gonna need a tall tank and a lot of places to climb you can see i have two sticks in here and a huge plant that goes all the way to the top of the tank um they don't need real plants, fake plants is fine, but they do need plants that go to the top of the tank and sticks and a tall tank. Um, also the substrate, um, they need substrate. Um, they can have reptile carpet, but it's not ideal. I recommend just getting a good, nice substrate like Eco Earth. Eco Earth is, a, is one of the best substrates there is in the um for reptiles um so eco earth is something to check into um also um they do not need a water bowl if you give them a water bowl they will not drink out of it so they get their water with a spray bottle in the mornings or in the evenings give them a heavy heavy spray spray everything around the walls, the leaves, the side, the sticks, every single thing in the tank, and that is a heavy spray. Um, they need a heavy spray in the morning and um, or in the evening, and then at night they need a light spray. Now a light spray is just like this. Imagine it's not wet, it's just like this. So that's a light spray. So yeah, they need a heavy spray in the morning or evening, light spray at night. Um, they also, they need humidity, which also the water gives them, but that's also how they drink. These water droplets on the glass and on the leaves, they'll drink that up and that's how they get their water. Also, um, the best food for anoles is crickets. Give your anole lizard a cricket, it's, it's, you should feed them crickets. You can also feed them mealworms, but that is not recommended at all. You should really get them crickets. Um, that's really all I can say about their food. Crickets are great. Um, you can feed them um, every other day or every day. Um, um, yeah, so that's Anoles eating. also need to feel secure. So make sure there's a lot of places to hide. You can see I have a huge plant in there, which gives it many places to hide down there in that dark area up here. You can hide anywhere in this tank. Um, and then you can come and bask on this tick. Uh, also, another thing is heat. Anoles need heat and UVB, so reptile basking bulb. 
and a UVB lamp. The recommended UVB lamp is this uh, one that's long and it's a stick and um, but and again with the tall tank which you need um, this one might work out a little better but yeah so UVB bulb reptile basking spot lamp and um, these are just the heat lamp the heat lamps that hold in the bulb and you just put them on top of the tank so yeah that's heat and yeah also when your null is shedding I would give it um, two heavy mists that day instead of a heavy one and a light one because they need um, a lot of humidity to shed. They will eat their sheddings after they shed, so don't get worried if your animal is eating its sheddings. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, so so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about anole care. I hope it helps out a lot of people um, before they get their anole. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, subscribe, and please turn the notifications on so you can um, um, get updated when I post new videos and uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching it means a lot bye